Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks, and I am here today with set number 41032, First Aid Jungle Bike from LEGO Friends. This is ages 6 to 12, 156 pieces, includes one mini doll, Emma, and a animal. This was available in 2014, and originally retailed for about $14.99 in the United States. On the back of the box, we get to see more of the figures and accessories, as well as some little play features. So let's open this up and see what's inside. This set contains three relatively large bags full of the pieces included, and it contains no stickers, which is great to have. We have a thick instruction booklet, which shows you some of the other LEGO Friends sets from the same sub-theme of Jungle, as well as the general theme of Friends. We get two pages for the piece count on the back of the instructions. And there's a brief look at the instructions themselves. For each bag, we have a different assortment of pieces. I notice in this bag, we have some of the pieces that make up Emma and the pieces for the torso and legs for Emma are put into their smaller perforated bags which make them easy to tear open. The rest of the bags have different pieces as well. Here we have our two figures in the set, the mini doll Emma and we have an orangutan. It's actually interesting to get it in a reddish brown, a little bit lighter than reddish brown color. We have Emma in what seems to be a first aid outfit. You can see by the printing on the front with a little plus sign. A uh, very interesting, nice mix of colors, and we even get a yellow walkie talkie. You can attach accessories to the back of the orangutan, but there are none included in this set. And if I'm correct, that might be the same mold for the monkey we can attach onto minifigure and mini doll hands. So we could have uh, Emma actually carrying around the monkey, perhaps he's swinging on her arm. Next up in the set we have a small motorcycle with a sidecar attached to it. You can actually um, fit Emma onto the motorcycle portion. And The only problem is, well, we also have a helmet that comes with her in the set. We can't actually fit her hands on the handlebars Maybe a little bit of a tight squeeze for the mini doll to fit in there, but it can still fit. But she can't actually clip onto the handlebars because she does not have any movable wrists. None of the mini dolls do. and But it's still nice to at least try to make it look like she's on the radio and trying to get to a situation with her, with her first aid bike. On the back you can see she has a shovel and she also has some medication, perhaps for treating animals. We even have a little purse that's nicely printed. There are no uh, stickers in this set, so it's really nice to get some printed pieces like that. Uh, nice little medicine bag, and you also have room in there where we could either fit another mini doll, or we could fit this orangutan from earlier. It looks pretty nice on there, and perhaps at a later time I can do a a look at this versus another sidecar from a previous LEGO set. So Emma is driving in her mo uh, motorbike to this location where she's been called out for an emergency. We haven't actually had the emergency yet though, but here's a look at some of the extra pieces in the set, mostly round plates, one visor, an extra one of those uh, serums, and even some of the floral decoration that's used in this assembly. Now we'll quickly look around at the set itself. This little display is actually pretty nice. I like the size of it. It seems like a nice entryway into a cave or on the side of a mountain perhaps. Uh, something that on its own may not look too great but if you add it in with a bunch of other scenery it will look even better. You have a nicely built tree on the side where we have a small basket with a banana and you can even use the monkey orangutan uh, to hang off of the tree on this branch. You can just swing back and forth. I think you can even clip onto the tree itself. 
Maybe not. But it is nice to have him just swinging on here, having fun. You also have a printed mushroom in there. So the main action of the set is where we set the monkey right here, as if it's an animal set. Um, and we have a little emergency that Emma is going to race in and take care of. So on top, you can see we had that green knob over here. And inside of here are a whole bunch of one by one pieces. Maybe a little hard to see from here, but there was a little area where these pieces are laying and kind of acts as a small tray. We have a, a function in which we turn this upward and it'll lift a lid and make a sort of rock slide function, which is pretty cool. And I like how the floral decoration around it is enough that you can reach your hands in here, remove all the rubble, and then get to the orangutan. Hopefully he's not injured. And it also serves as a way to keep a boundary for all these pieces. If you watch it again, most of them can stay in here. Some of them do fall out, depending on which way they fall, but it's nice that they don't just go all over the place. So we can have Emma coming in. It'll maybe look a little, you know, a little hazardous for her to get through. So what she can do is grab a shovel from her, from her bike. She can use it to scoop out all of the rubble and then be able to approach the monkey and give him proper treatment. You can also access the monkey from the other side where we have a small door. It seems a little bit impractical because I don't think you would find this kind of thing in the wildlife, but it is a cool feature. You simply slide this open on the green round plate and you can move to him in the other side. Perhaps this would be a way for you to interact with some of the other sets in which you can have this as a secret passage, maybe to leading to some treasure. There are no treasure pieces in this set, though, as some of the other Friends Jungle sets have. But it is something that coincides with that same sub-theme. Overall, I think this is a very cool-looking set. I like the way it's designed, and yeah, it feels like it's a good build. I mean, for a $15 set, it seems big enough that you can add this in to any forest scene. doesn't seem too girly for the rock section and the tree section. It's got great play features, which I think are done well and kind of done original because I haven't seen them made this way before, and I definitely like how it's built. Nice and easy to comprehend, and a fun little set. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time with more LEGO reviews.